So I'm going to welcome you all to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zaratustra, broadcasting live from Tulum, Mexico. We always want to go inside something. So it's kind of like a obsession that we have developed to go inside something. And we're not even aware of it. And it kind of starts with like a man wants to go inside a woman. So his mission is always to go to find a woman to go inside them. A woman wants a man to go inside them. Then you go inside into a car. You go inside a plane. You go inside the ocean. You go inside a restaurant. You go inside a train. You go inside the building. You go inside the bathroom. We're always going inside something. But you never pay any attention of going inside yourself. How many people throughout their lives ever go inside themselves? Barely. It's very rare for a person in the life to go inside themselves. Because everyone wants to go inside something else. And when you don't go inside yourself, naturally, you don't know what is going on inside you. You don't know what's going on inside your body. You don't know your organs. You don't know how your digestion works. You don't know how your nervous system works. You don't know how your circulation works. You don't know how your lymphatic system works. You don't know how your psyche works. You don't know how your emotions change. You don't know your thought patterns. You don't know what triggers you to fear. What takes you up, what takes you down. And you go to other people called experts and you have to pay for them to go inside you. Pay attention to this because it's very important. And maybe today you want to mark it as a day that will transform your life forever if you pay attention and if you really get it. How much time do you spend going inside yourself? How much do you know yourself?
often you take the time to go inside yourself in comparison to as much time and energy you put into going inside other things. Think about it. How much time do you spend going inside another human being? Thinking about it, planning on it, strategizing, getting yourself ready. Versus how much do you really spend going inside yourself? It's much easier and convenient and safer to go inside somebody else or something else. It's frightening, inconvenient, scary to go inside yourself. Because if you go inside yourself, you may discover things that you don't want to see. Or you may discover beyond that. Maybe you find your dark side. Maybe you have to face your darkness. Maybe you have to look at yourself. Maybe you have to face your fears. Maybe you have to fear, face your being impatient. Maybe you have to face boredom. Maybe you have to face self-hatred. Maybe you face self-love. Ooh, wow. Then what? Maybe you face emptiness. Or maybe you face patience. Maybe you discover peace. What happens then? Wow. Mm. No, 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 no. I don't want inner peace because I'm so addicted to anxiety and fear and worry. that I can't handle peace. It's too dangerous. No, 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 no. I don't want that. Very few people on this planet Take the time to do an inner exploration. Very few people on this planet, they've got the bullocks, they've got the balls, they got the courage to do inner exploration, to go inside themselves. To dive within, it's got different stages. Because once you start to dive within yourself, a part of it is that you have to become quiet. You have to become silent. 